is 16 patients a month for Alzheimer's. But there's hope for cutting those numbers down. Seven things you or your loved one can change now to cut down the risk of developing Alzheimer's. Well, taking care of your body could save your mind. ABC 6 Health reporter Susan Burton now to tell us about a new study that could prevent Alzheimer's. But I still got a novel lot to go. Marcella Hickman doesn't want to slow down, but her daughter has noticed some changes. I couldn't believe it was my mother. She was doing things that, you know, she had never done before. And uh, being, you know, paranoid, extremely paranoid, um, and somewhat aggressive. And I'm like, this is my sweet mother. What, what's going on here? And she was showing signs of dementia. The number of cases are on the rise. Right now, um, it's estimated that five and a half million individuals in the United States have an Alzheimer's disease. A new study released by the Alzheimer's Association says there are seven risk factors you can change now to decrease your chances of getting Alzheimer's. The biggest one is being inactive, followed by smoking, obesity, lack of education, hypertension, diabetes, and depression. But if you were able to reduce these factors by 10% in an individual, overall there's going to be a 25% reduction and people developing Alzheimer's disease. Carol knows her mother can no longer be alone. My lifestyle is gonna change tremendously. Dr. Watley says she used to evaluate one patient a month for Alzheimer's, but now sees more than 16 each month. Cases are expected to triple by 2050. I'm Susan Burton, ABC 6 News.